Hi and welcome to today's review. Gareth Shaw here, PGA Professional. And what I've got is a club that I've been testing the range of clubs from this brand. So this is Lag Shot. And you've seen it from my previous reviews. If you haven't, check it out. The review of the Lag Shot 7 iron. Today, I've got the big dog. I've got the driver. This is probably the most daunting for me in the range, but also what could be the most beneficial to your game. The advertising and the promotion of this club says you're going to get an extra 20 plus yards out of this golf club and we're going to be testing that today. So we're going to go downstairs at going golf in a moment. We're going to hit some shots with my driver and get some numbers. Then we're going to use the lag shot. Then we're going to go back to my driver and see if we can get those extra 20 yards. Ultimately, I think this is the most beneficial out of the range because the driver is something that people out there really want to improve. And they're maybe a little bit obsessed about distance and getting the distance that they mostly can out of their driver. So potentially, I think this is one of the clubs where it can benefit you the most and you'll feel the distance and notice the difference. Wedge for control, yes, a little bit. Um, the 7 iron, you'd not really want more distance potentially out of your iron, you just want more control. But this is something that people really want to get that distance and maximise that distance out of. A few of the benefits that Lagshot claim with this golf club are it slows down your transition, so people have that quick transition from the top, they snatch at it, where this is going to hopefully make you stay behind that golf ball a little bit more, create that lag and get that hit and hit the ball on the up and get it out there. The whippy driver length shaft droops the club into the slot and the downswing, so grooving a more of a shallower swing plane. Again, encouraging that upward hit, encouraging that ball to launch out there like your aeroplane. Just got start low and finish at its apex, then drop down at those 300 yard mark, because that's what we all want out to our driver. A little bit in terms of tempo and timing as well with this club, because it's bendy, we can see that. Amazing. It's going to help you with your timing, your feel, understanding where the club head is in your golf swing as well, more importantly. And then what it tries to help is generate that more club head speed through you swinging this. Because it's whippy, it's a little bit lighter. So what it's going to allow you to do is get that whip, get that hit, get it out there. And then something a lot of people do with their drivers is a casting motion so it's going to help you boost that natural lag not try and kind of throw it at the golf ball create that natural load and lag into the golf ball and then you can hit it out into the stratosphere and hopefully get lots of yardage this club retails for around about one five nine dollars it is a little bit expensive but for me 20 yards difference if you're going to get 20 yards out of this golf club extra on a golf course i think it pays for itself i like the idea of it as well from a coaching perspective because it for me it's getting the player to understand speed getting the player to understand lag and where you're creating that speed in your golf swing and ultimately gain that efficiency out of your golf swing as well if it's something that you want and you're interested in give it a go give it a try and also what we're going to go do downstairs now is we're going to see if we can notice those 20 plus yards that lag shot claiming that you're going to get from about 15 to 20 balls. I just love the concept. I love the idea. It's a field kind of club, very much a field coach and a field player. And I think if you can get that feedback, that little bit of artistry in your coaching with your clients to understand where that club head is and what's going on at impact. Brilliant. Give it a go, give it a try, visit Lag Shot, see their club range, they've got the driver, the 7 iron, they've got the, the lighter ladies golf club as well, and they've also got a wedge. Let's go downstairs, let's go and check out and see if we can get those extra 20 yards from the Lag Shot driver.
I drive a back end play now, our average before was 2, 6, 8. Let's see if we get any more distance, see if we can get to that magical 20 yards further after using a lag shot. Can we get more? Yeah, seeing a little bit more, couple of further yards in terms of the carry. What I like about it is it just gives me that feeling of load. Then I can hit it. So at the present moment, I don't really care about the distance because what I'm getting is the feedback from the previous golf for the lag shot. That low and that hit, that explosion through the golf ball, which I love, love the sensation, love the move. You're putting a better swing on the golf ball. And for me, having that sensation, that feeling, coming into the ball with that power, with that pace. And I think over time, you could train yourself a little bit more kind of um, strength training, power work, with, in conjunction with the lag shot, you could get some more distance out of it. I'll take that all day. I've probably got five yards out of it, which is fine, which because I've been using it probably for half an hour. Give it a go, check out. I'm gonna give it some more work on mine. Catch you soon.